In this lesson, we're going to cover a linear incision and do simple interrupted suture. Today, I'll use a 2.0 proline. Ideally, you would like to use a 2.0 silk. For this demonstration, I'm using blue proline so you can see the cut a little better. So let's look at the wound. Ideally, we want to choose the middle portion of the wound and throw the first stitch here. The second and subsequent sutures will be placed equal distance from the middle of the wound till the end of the wound. For example, number two will be placed here and number three will be placed here. This should give you a really good even equidistance between the sutures. So let's take the first bite. I'll choose the middle of the wound. A lot of people ask, how far do I come away from the particular wound? Well, you want to come far enough to take the bite away from actually where the laceration is, but you don't want to go too far because it will actually evert a portion of the wound. So using the pickups, I'm going to evert the wound a little, take a bite at 90 degrees, and come through. I'll pick up the second bite, going vertically, and finish the circle. And if you'll notice, this distance from here to here typically looks the same. Grasp the needle and pull through. So the first knot's very important. This will begin to lock the wound, and what we'll do is pull the short end of the knot as close as I can to the wound. Lay the instrument in the middle of the wound. Two throws around the instrument, and then we lay the knot flat. Now this is actually the surgeon's knot that will actually lock down the wound. As you can tell, the approximation is really good with no eversion. The following is I'm going to bring the short end over to the other side. This is the second knot. And then one final throw. And this will bring, bring the loose end over to the left end and we're ready to tie. Always pull the knot to either the left or right, it doesn't matter. But you always want to have some equidistance here. I'll lay the sutures actually down to the lateral portion and simply cut and I get some nice equal sutures there.